designed to serve the needs of students in the first part of the 20th century, the Canyon City School District has struggled maintaining this facility. The main entry is completely inaccessible to handicapped students and visitors. Visitors to the building can actually enter the hallway before coming into contact with any school employees. There are no handicap accessible bathrooms in the main part of the building as well. Students must either go upstairs or downstairs to have access. Classrooms designed for instruction in 1925 have had to be retrofitted for modern technology. However, some very old technology is still being used in many of the instructional spaces. Believe it or not, the 1925 portion of the building is actually still heated using old cast metal radiating heaters. These are hard to operate, difficult to maintain, and make it challenging to keep classroom temperatures at a comfortable level. Because old door hardware can't be locked from inside a classroom, homemade devices have to be used to secure rooms in case of a lockdown. Classrooms designed to serve 25 kids or less in 1925 are awkwardly shaped and don't even provide the basics needed for teaching classes such as science. Most of these class spaces now ser serve up to 35 kids, use original technology, and have to be retrofitted in an unsafe fashion to serve modern needs. There are many reasons to be concerned about student safety. This is an example of the escape hatch that exists in the current auditorium. If there were an emergency, students would have to exit the stage down this stairwell. That's not the only purpose for this stairwell, however. If you take a trip down it, you'll find that the space behind the stage serves as a prop area and also includes dressing rooms, mock dressing rooms for the students. What's most frightening is the main electrical service for the building runs into this classroom. Though the auditorium has served the community well for many years, it is equipped with very outdated doors, windows, seat seating, and sound equipment. It's difficult to see the stage from the far back rows, as can be seen by my view of Operations Director Jeff Peterson. Another area of concern in the auditorium is that the sound room is not functional like a modern one, and it also serves as the primary means by which staff can get to the roof.